So I'm sure many of you guys are up to date on the whole SS Sniper Wolf and Jax Films doxing situation. We've been covering it here a ton on the channel, how SS Sniper Wolf doxed Jax Films. He pretty much got a slap on the wrist, but hopefully this will be the last video we have to make on this situation. We're talking about the final part of this whole drama thing where Jax Films has recently made an update video titled What Comes Next, where he discusses how this doxing event has affected him. And it's pretty much as bad as you expect it's going to be, but I thought it was worth covering, so let's get right into it. I'm no chat. Uh, these last few weeks have been pretty rough, to say the least. Aaron and I are okay, but we're just in this weird limbo of scared to leave our home and strongly considering moving. So it hasn't been great. I don't think there's any possible excuse for Jack Films to feel, you know, scared to leave his house with his wife because he was criticizing another YouTuber. And it honestly still really bothers me that says the Sniper Wolf pretty much got a complete slap on the wrist compared to him. Like he's going to talk about his next plans in the rest of the video, which includes him possibly moving. Honestly, it sounds like Jack Films is suffering more of the consequences of this doxing situation than SS Sniper Wolf is. Now that Jax Film's address is out there in the public, it's been shown to SS Sniper Wolf fans who he's been critical for a long time of. I mean, he, he's probably afraid of, you know, if someone's going to swat him, you know, if some 12 year old SS Sniper Wolf fan is going to, you know, call the police on his location or something stupid like that, or some crazy fan is going to pull up to his house. He shouldn't have to worry about that crap. And it was completely unacceptable that it happened in the first place. And I've seen some claims that apparently SS Sniper Wolf is back remonetized. Now, I went back to her channel just to confirm that or not, and I haven't seen any ads on her channel, so I don't exactly know when she'll be remonetized. But I think the problem with that is not when she eventually gets remonetized, it's the fact that she'll be able to monetize her big channel ever again. I mean, let's be completely honest here. She did something completely against terms of service. For any other channel, their entire channel got terminated by YouTube, and that's the Sniper Wolf is going to lose out on a couple weeks of YouTube money. Don't get me wrong, she, you know, she's a big YouTuber. She gets a lot of views. So it's definitely a good chunk of change, you know, she misses out on like a month's worth of YouTube ad revenue. However, she is a multi millionaire. So this was, of course, a complete slap on the wrist. And considering for anyone else to do this, it would have been, you know, a break of terms of service and deleted their channel. I think people are going to have to remember this situation for when another stupid youtuber does the exact same thing because i have no doubt in my mind their channel will be completely terminated without a second thought only 18 percent of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel don't be part of the 81 percent subscribe to the channel you have nothing to lose and you know some people are trying to justify how anxious you know jack's films moves saying you know he has money so it won't be that big of a problem but it's not always about the money you know what i mean like no one likes moving you know think about about the whole process in moving your you know entire family to another location you know you gotta pack up for a couple weeks you gotta do all this work ahead and then you gotta sign like a bunch of fucking contracts and so no one wants to move you know it's a real hassle and the fact of the matter is she, he shouldn't have to worry about moving in the first place i mean that's a real problem incredible support during this time we've read your messages and i can't begin to tell you just how much we truly appreciate them so thank you all so so much. I'm deciding on what to do with this channel and how to move forward, but in the meantime, there's something I'd like to try that's consistent with our mission of crediting the creators. So for the time being, here's my plan. If you're a creator and you're open to the idea of me watching your work live on stream, providing critiques and feedback and tips, then please send us your stuff. It's crazy that this is way more than SS Sniper Wolf has ever done for the content creators she steals clips from. I mean, honestly, big W for Jax Films. He uploaded this on his like second channel, his like parody channel of SS Sniper Wolf that has like a million subscribers. He's gonna share his community's clips for like a million people to see with credit. And that's pretty much how SS Sniper Wolf should have been reacting to clips on her channel, you know, with complete credit. So this is a 
pretty big step in the right direction. I mean, the entire channel was meant to parody SF Sniper Wolf. Like, if you even go back through his old videos, his old thumbnails are just like complete cut and paste copies of SF Sniper Wolf. It looks like he's pretty much going to continue, you know, making this reaction type videos, but like actually crediting people and giving shout outs to good content creators, which is honestly a pretty awesome thing to do. You know, I think Jack Shums is one of those OG YouTubers. You know, I think it's okay to put him in this section and to see someone have to go through this you know especially as someone who most people would think would be one of youtube's favorites you know since he's been around on the platforms for so long and gotten youtube so much you know views and ad revenue that kind of thing to see him treated like this is honestly really unfortunate i think the worst part about that too is that he seems like a really genuine guy like of course you know everyone's a little different behind the screen and behind their videos but he seems like a genuine nice person and i think he really has my respect too because he's been very consistent in his messaging like trying to get credit for original content creators he's been doing that for years now it's not just him parroting ss sniper wolf he's talked about this for a very long time so i can respect that consistency especially going through like a hard situation like this some people might decide to flip flop on their ideas you know to maybe avoid getting dogs like jack's films unfortunately did in this situation you know honestly i want to say i hope he didn't have to move but it would probably be the best decision because his address you know is now public be thanks to ss sniper wolf and that could have some pretty serious consequences but of course i wish him all the best but that's just my thoughts on the situation you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments the other day we made a video about how ss sniper wolf has actually already returned to making youtube videos yes i'm completely serious you can click here to watch it now